Sigma Orionis or Sigma Ori, Sigma Orionis, Sigma Ori is a multiple star system in the constellation Orion, consisting of the brightest members of a young open cluster. It is found at the eastern end of the belt, southwest of Alnitak and west of the Horsehead Nebula which it partially illuminates. The total brightness of the component stars is magnitude 3.80. Topic: History Sigma Orionis is a naked eye star at the eastern end of Orion's belt, and has been known since antiquity, but it was not included in Ptolemy Almagest. It was referred to by al Sufi, but not formally listed in his catalogue. In more modern times, it was measured by Tycho Brahe and included in his catalogue. In Kepler's extension, it is described as, Quae ultimum balte priestit ad austr, preceding the outermost of the belt, to the south. It was then recorded by Johann Baer in his Uranometria as a single star with the Greek letter sigma, sigma. He described it as in en, prima, in the sword, first. It was also given the Flamsteed designation 48. In 1776, Christian Mayer described Sigma Ori as a triple star, having seen components A, B and E, and suspected another between the two. Component D was confirmed by F. G. W. Struve who also added a fourth C, published in 1876. In 1892 Sherburne Wesley Burnham reported that Sigma Ori A was itself a very close double, although a number of later observers failed to confirm it. In the second half of the 20th century, the orbit of Sigma Ori A B was solved and at the time was one of the most massive binaries known. Sigma Ori A was discovered to have a variable radial velocity in 1904, considered to indicate a single line spectroscopic binary. The spectral lines of the secondary were elusive and often not seen at all, possibly because they are broadened by rapid rotation. There was confusion over whether the reported spectroscopic binary status actually referred to the known visual companion B. Finally in 2011, it was confirmed that the system is triple, with an inner spectroscopic pair and a wider visual companion. The inner pair was resolved interferometrically in 2013. Sigma Ori E was identified as helium rich in 1956, having variable radial velocity in 1959, having variable emission features in 1974, having an abnormally strong magnetic field in 1978, being photometrically variable in 1977, and formally classified as a variable star in 1979. In 1996, a large number of low mass pre main sequence stars were identified in in the region of Orion's belt. A particular close grouping was discovered to lie around Sigma Orionis. A large number of brown dwarfs were found in the same area and at the same distance as the bright Sigma Orionis stars. Optical, infrared, and X-ray objects in the cluster, including 115 non-members lying in the same direction, were listed in the Merit catalog with a running number, except for the central star which was listed simply as Merit AB. Topic. Cluster The Sigma Orionis cluster is part of the Ori Ob 1b stellar association, commonly referred to as Orion's Belt. The cluster was not recognized until 1996 when a population of pre main sequence stars was discovered around Sigma Ori. Since then, it has been extensively studied because of its closeness and the lack of interstellar extinction. It has been calculated that star formation in the cluster began 3 million years MYR ago and it is approximately 360% away. In the central arc minute of the cluster, five particularly bright stars are visible, labeled A to E in order of distance from the brightest component Sigma Ori A. The closest pair AB are only separated by 0 0.2, 0 0.3, but were discovered with a 12 inches telescope. An infrared and radio source, IRS 1, 3. 3 inches from Sigma Ori A that was considered to be a patch of nebulosity has been resolved into two subsolar stars. There is an associated variable X-ray source that is assumed to be a T Tauri star. The cluster is considered to include a number of other stars of spectral class A or B. HD 37699, an outlying B5 giant very close to the Horsehead Nebula. HD 37525, a B5 main sequence star and spectroscopic binary HD 294271, a B5 young stellar object with two low-mass companions 
HD 294272, a binary containing two B class young stellar objects. HD 37333, a peculiar A1 main sequence star. HD 37564, an A8 young stellar object. V1147 Ori, a B9.5 giant and alpha 2 CVN variable. HD 37686, a B9.5 main sequence star close to HD 37699. HD 37545, an outlying B9 main sequence. HD 294273, an A8 young stellar object. 2MASS J0537417802290812 an A9 young stellar object. 294271 and HD 294272 make up the double. Star Struve 761 or STF 761. It is three arc minutes from Sigma Orionis, which is also known as Struve 762. Over 30 other probable cluster members have been detected within an arc minute of the central star, mostly brown dwarfs and planetary mass objects such as S Ori 70, but including the early M red dwarfs 2 MASS J0538474602352529. And 2 MASS J0538430102361452. Total, several hundred low mass objects are thought to be cluster members, including around a hundred spectroscopically measured class M stars, around 40 K class stars, and a handful of G and F class objects. Many are grouped in a central core, but there is a halo of associated objects scattered across more than 10 arc minutes. Topic: <laughs> Sigma Orionis AB. The brightest member of the Sigma Orionis system appears as a late O-class star, but is actually made up of three stars. The inner pair complete a highly eccentric orbit every 143 days, while the outer star completes its near-circular orbit once every 157 years. It has not yet completed a full orbit since it was first discovered to be a double star. All three are very young main-sequence stars with masses between 11 and 18 m. Topic. Components The primary component A is the class O9.5 star, with a temperature of 35,000 K and a luminosity over 40,000 L. Lines representing a B0.5 main sequence star have been shown to belong to its close companion A-flat, which has a temperature of 31,000 K and a luminosity of 18,600 L. Their separation varies from less than half an astronomical unit to around two astronomical units. Although they cannot be directly imaged with conventional single mirror telescopes, their respective visual magnitudes have been calculated at 4.61 and 5.20. The two components of Sigma Orionis A have been resolved interferometrically using the Chara array, and the combination of interferometric and visual observations yields a very accurate orbit. The spectrum of component B, the outer star of the triple, cannot be detected. The luminosity contribution from Sigma Ori B can be measured and it is likely to be a B0-2 main sequence star. Its visual magnitude of 5.31 is similar to Sigma Ori A flat and so it should be easily visible, but it is speculated that its spectral lines are highly broadened and invisible against the backdrop of the other two stars. The orbit of component B has been calculated precisely using the NPOI and Chara arrays. The combined orbits of the three stars together give a parallax significantly more precise than the HIPPARCOS parallax. The inclinations of the two orbits are known accurately enough to calculate their relative inclination. The two orbital planes are within 30 degrees of being orthogonal, with the inner orbit being prograde and the outer retrograde. Although slightly surprising, this situation is not necessarily rare in triple systems. Topic. Mass discrepancy The masses of these three component stars can be calculated using, spectroscopic calculation of the surface gravity and hence a spectroscopic mass, comparison of evolutionary models to the observed physical properties to determine an evolutionary mass as well as the age of the stars, or determination of a dynamical mass from the orbital motions of the stars. 
The spectroscopic masses found for each component of Sigma Orionis have large margins of error, but the dynamical and spectroscopic masses are considered accurate to about 1 m, and the dynamical masses of the two components of Sigma Orionis A are known to within about a quarter m. However, the dynamical masses are all larger than the evolutionary masses by more than their margins of error, indicating a systemic problem. This type of mass discrepancy is a common and long-standing problem found in many stars. Topic. Ages Comparison of the observed or calculated physical properties of each star with theoretical stellar evolutionary tracks allows the age of the star to be estimated. The estimated ages of the components A, A flat, and B, are respectively 0.3 plus 1.0 minus 0.3 MYR, 0.9 plus 1.5 minus 0.9 MYR, and 1.9 plus 1.6 minus 1.9 MYR. Within their large margins of error, these can all be considered to be consistent with each other, although it is harder to reconcile them with the 2 to 3 MYR estimated age of the Sigma Orionis cluster as a whole. Sigma Orionis C The faintest member of the main Sigma Orionis stars is component C. It is also the closest to Sigma Ori AB at 11, corresponding to 3960 astronomical units. It is an A-type main sequence star. Sigma Ori C has a faint companion 2 inches away, referred to as C flat and MAD4. C flat is 5 magnitudes fainter than Sigma Ori CA at infrared wavelengths, K band magnitude 14.07, and is likely to be a brown dwarf. Topic. Sigma Orionis D Component D is a fairly typical B2 main sequence star of magnitude 6.62, it is 13 from Sigma Ori AB, corresponding to 4680 astronomical units. Its size, temperature, and brightness are very similar to Sigma Ori E but it shows none of the unusual spectral features or variability of that star. Topic. Sigma Orionis E Component E is an unusual variable star, classified as an SX Arietis variable and also known as V1030 Orionis. It is helium-rich, has a strong magnetic field, and varies between magnitudes 6.61 and 6.77 during a 1.19-day period of rotation. It has a spectral type of B2VPE. The variability is believed to be due to large-scale variations in surface brightness caused by the magnetic field. The rotational period is slowing due to magnetic braking. Sigma Ori E is 41 inches from Sigma Ori AB, approximately 15,000 astronomical units. The magnetic field is highly variable from minus 2,300 to plus 3,100 Gauss, matching the brightness variations and the likely rotational period. This requires a magnetic dipole of at least 10,000 g around minimum brightness. A shell type spectrum appears, attributed to plasma clouds rotating above the photosphere. The helium enhancement in the spectrum may be due to hydrogen being preferentially trapped towards the magnetic poles, leaving excess helium near the equator. It has been suggested that Sigma Ori E could be further away and older than the other members of the cluster. From modeling its evolutionary age and size, Sigma Ori E has a faint companion about a third of an arc second away. It is about five magnitudes fainter than the helium rich primary, about magnitude 10 to 11 at K band infrared wavelengths. It is presumed to be a low mass star 0.4 to 0.8 m. Sigma Orionis IRS-1 The infrared source IRS-1 is close to Sigma Ori A. It has been resolved to a pair of low-mass objects, a proplid, and a possible third object. The brighter object has an M1 spectral class, a mass around a half M, and appears to be a relatively normal low-mass star. The fainter object is very unusual, showing a diluted M7 or M8 absorption spectrum with emission lines of hydrogen and helium. The interpretation is that it is a brown dwarf embedded within a proplid that is being photoevaporated by Sigma Ori A X ray emission from IRS-1 suggests the presence of an accretion disk around a T Tauri star, but it is unclear how this can fit with the proplid scenario. 
Topic: <laughs> Dust wave. In infrared images, a prominent arc is visible centered on Sigma Ori AB. It is about 50 inches away from the class O star, around 0.1 parsecs at its distance. It is directed towards IC 434, the Hori's Head Nebula, in line with the space motion of the star. The appearance is similar to a bowshock, but the type of radiation shows that it is not a bowshock. The observed infrared emission, peaking at around 45 microns, can be modeled by two approximately black body components, one at 68 K and one at 197 K. These are thought to be produced by two different sizes of dust grains. The material of the arc is theorized to be produced by photoevaporation from the molecular cloud around the Horsehead Nebula. The dust becomes decoupled from the gas that carried it away from the molecular cloud by radiation pressure from the hot stars at the center of the Sigma Ori cluster. The dust accumulates into a denser region that is heated and forms the visible infrared shape. The term, dust wave, is applied when the dust piles up but the gas is largely unaffected, as opposed to a bow wave, where both dust and gas are stopped. Dust waves occur when the interstellar medium is sufficiently dense and the stellar wind sufficiently weak that the dust standoff distance is larger than the standoff distance of a bow shock. This would clearly be more likely for slow-moving stars, but slow-moving luminous stars may not have lifetimes long enough to produce a bow wave. Low-luminosity late class O stars should commonly produce bow waves if this model is correct. Topic. References. Topic. External links Turn left at Orion Naked Eye and Telescopic Views Sigma Orionis Researchers page at Instituto de Astrofisica de Andalusia January Double Star Observing Guide from Astronomical Society of Southern Africa Bright and Multiple Stars Gallery taken at Fresno State's Campus Observatory, largely by students.